this thing popped up somehow again. We want to talk about a game that I almost forgot uh, sort of existed. Uh, the guys that made this like Wukong Journey to the West sort of insane graphical demonstration game that we saw, I think it was summer of last year, popped literally out of nowhere, some Chinese development studio that was sort of trying to get the game made and showing off the tech. But when we learned more about it, it was like, oh, okay, I don't know if this is exactly a real game. You know, it looked really good, but the hope that it was going to eventually become something that was actually a game that was being made and not really just a demonstration was sort of unclear because the things they showed looked really cool. Looked like a crazy action game. And if a game could come out of like a big AAA Chinese studio like this, then you officially have some huge competition in the market, which is quite good. If more places around the world are gonna be providing experiences like this. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is, how much of it was actually a real game, because clearly they've been working on it since then. And if this is a thing that's going to come out or actually be released, you know, is it going to eventually be a real game? Yeah, ridiculous environments. Rid ridiculous environments. Jesus. Monkey may cry. Okay, no way. I just, I don't know, man. It looks way too good. And it's not just like the raw visuals, it's the fact that everything really looks polished, you know? I think that's the scary part. You have a game that pops out of nowhere and suddenly looks as polished as it does is almost like all these insane animation flourishes like who was who was spending years animating all this shit i guess like i mean i guess they were i hope they were i hope that's what it boils down to damn splinter is pissed be strong like a bull that's a bull it looks like it looked like a huge fucking rat Hmm. Huh. Oh, this trailer isn't even at 60 FPS. Is there a version of this trailer that's actually at 60? I mean, granted, like either way, if we're to assume that the game is real and this is all an actual game that somebody is really playing, it looks fucking great. I feel like I, I, I have the exact same impressions as before. It almost looks too good to be true. Even on a trailer that is running at 30 FPS and is a crappy bit rate as this one is, it just looks insanely polished. And I think it's weird, right? It's weird that we're at a, a, a situation where if a game drops out of nowhere from a developer that you've relatively heard very little about and ends up looking like an insanely polished action game, number, number one, it's an action game, things that not a lot of companies are super good at doing, and number two, it looks like an insanely polished action game where animation transitions and character rigging in an action game takes a shit ton of experience and a shit ton of time. There is always a questionable element, right? There is a 
a huge questionable element. How weird is it considering Mortal Shell? Okay, I played Mortal Shell, and Mortal Shell definitely feels like a game that is made by a few people. Absolutely does. Functional game, right? But Mortal Shell 110% feels like a game that is made by a few people. It's really, it's really, it, it's not interesting, but it's really impressive that Mortal Shell is made by not a lot of people. Uh, for it to be look as good as it does, that's really impressive. But I think this is a much different situation, right? It's a much different situation. But I think I'm hoping for the best, right? I, I, I think I'm hoping that this is actually a game that's playable and is going to come out and it's going to be fun and it's not going to be janky and weird. The trailers say that it's a celebrate the Chinese New Year. That makes a lot of sense. That does make a lot of sense. Is it Year of the Ox? This video is specially produced for celebrating the Year of the Ox. It is. Um, it does not represent actual plot <laughs> oh so they're not saying they're not saying it's not gameplay representative they're saying please don't look to this as the story <laughs> please do not look at this as it is the story yeah I, and that's the thing that we sort of heard about the game because this the, this this title caused so much buzz last year when it literally showed up out of nowhere okay so who's actually working on this what kind of devs are there like what kind of experience are we talking about here and it seemingly did have a lot of prestige and experience um coming out of China and, and China games divisions. So seemingly it was like, maybe it's actually real, you know? They said there's like a hundred people different working on it. I, I, I just hope so, right? I hope so. I hope this shit comes out and it's an incredible action game. And when we get more crazy action games, you know, out of different parts of the world, Genshin Impact is a decent example of things that come from different regions of the world that suddenly you didn't think are going to be able to immediately produce big budget situations like this. And then, oh, wow, everyone fucking loves it. You know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with more competition when it comes to games, because clearly there's only so much of a market for games like this when everyone usually goes to mobile. Everyone usually goes to cell phones when it comes to games like this, especially the, the Chinese market. And if they're approaching big budget things with this, I think that's dope. I think that's cool.